Sportsman's Adventures is presented by Yamaha and fueled by Startron. Dan Benson is the Senior Sales and Integration Manager for PowerPole, and he's going to be fishing with Captain Rick, as well as helping to set up a brand new charge system. So Dan, you know, over the next two days, what we're gonna do is not plug in tonight. We're gonna actually monitor how this charge is doing in a guided situation, and the sidebar for us is gonna be catching some fish, I hope. Yes. You know? So this ought to be cool for the next two days of monitoring exactly how this works so that we can report back to the boss at PowerPole as to what the charge is doing and not doing, which I don't think there's anything it doesn't do. No. It, it doesn't clean the boat at the It end, doesn't do clean the boat. But it was pretty <laughs> cool to see this morning while we were trailering to the ramp, you had your bubbler on, you were using a little bit of power, and we slid the slider over in the truck and actually maintained and charged your engine battery from your trolling motors while we were trailering the long way to Flamingo. Right. Then we made the run out here and basically replenished the entire boat. Correct. So we'll see throughout the day as you're using that trolling motor, we'll start borrowing power from the engine battery to keep your trolling motor topped off. Yeah, it looks like the house battery, the engine battery has gotten below 12 volts, which indicates that it's turned yellow. That's because the Garmin's on. I also checked the weather, so that's activated in the Garmin. So we're using the Sirius XM here, and we're also uh, running the bubbler and the live well pumps. So we got a lot of stuff going on off of that one 12 volt battery. Cool. It'll All be right. good to see how it does for the next two days. Go, baby! That's what I'm talking about! Only a mama could love that mouth. Bringing home the snapper! During this season of Sportsman's Adventures, Captain Rick is going to be following the migratory patterns of tarpon along the Gulf Coast of Florida. And to kick it off, it's the beginning of April, and just like clockwork, the tarpon are holding a get-together in Florida Bay. Tarpon are a highly migratory animal, but 78 degrees is their comfort zone. So once the ocean temperatures begin to move up during the summer, so do the tarpon. Just so happens that our water temperature today is 78 degrees. Perfect conditions for a bite. There we go, Dan. Good bow, bud. Good bow. <clears throat> Just so you know, I didn't go over the tackle with you, but so you got 40 pound diamond breed. 40. Yeah, and then you have a piece of 40 pound leader go into a piece of 50 pound fluorocarbon, diamond fluorocarbon, with an eagle claw, 7-0, laser sharp hook. Just wondering how we could cast so far. Yeah. Well, 40. Yeah, because it's 40. I'm gonna throw this out on the other side mm -hmm. here. Get out of the way. <laughs> Put this in the rod holder. Don't forget to bow, good job. It's always nice when you got a guy on the front of the boat that knows all the terminology. <laughs> nice. That's a nice fish. Yeah, man. Good job, bub. Fun stuff right here. Yeah, man. I'm gonna get some gloves. How we doing, Danny? He's, a, he's still a little green. Huh? He's still a little green. Good. I like it that way. <laughs> Bring it right here on this side to our left here. Let me put this trolling motor up. <laughs> I 
Nice. I think we can get another little jump out of him one more frisky. time. Put some heat on him. There you go. Make him pay. <laughs> How you like that Fenwick? HMG, eight footer bub designed for throwing long baits or live baits a long way. Bring it to me. It's perfect. You got all the backbone, but that tip is just right. Come here, bud. Look at that. Thank you, Rick. Yeah, man. <sighs> it put a hurting on him. He brought him to the boat a little too quick. Yeah. Well, that's what we got to do is we got to let yep. these guys go quick, you know. Get them in, keep them fresh, keep the sharks off them. Right. Nice fish. I'm going to let you get that hook out of them there, Dad. There you go. Went right in the little clipper. Let's see if I can just roll it out. There you go. There you got it. Nice. Yes. Look at that lovely mouth. That is awesome. Thanks, bud. We appreciate you. Is that your first flamingo tarpon there, Dad? It sure is, Rick. Chased them all over the state, but this is pretty cool. <laughs> Let's try to catch 10 more of those today. <laughs> I'm game. All right. Good job, man. Thank you. That was great. I like it when they can catch a fish. I'm going to start it up, see what happens here. <laughs> can see it just put a load when you started the Yamaha. It went to red, right? For yep, a second. that instant. Now look, it's green. It's green? It was yellow a minute ago, or orange. Yes. Which is indicating that we're getting below the 12 volts. Yep. And immediately with your alternator going, it's up to 12.2, and now I'm pushing 8.1, 8.4 amps to each of those trolling motor batteries but I know we're gonna make a long run and let's top those trolling motors off. Let's move it to the trolling priority and really boost that amperage that goes into those trollers. Okay. So and there's we'll, no amperage going into this? No, because it was enough to start your engine. Right. The trolling motor's been maintaining your cranking battery this whole time while we've been fishing. And we'll see where we're at when we get to the next spot. Sportsman's Adventures is brought to you by Yamaha. Reliability starts here. Rodan. Set it, forget it, catch more fish. Set the hook with Fish Bites and Fish Bites Fight Club lures. Bahio. Fresh eyes for a rich life. Penn. Let the battle begin. And Startron. Start, run, store with Startron. There we go. Yeah. Look how that's right in his little, right across his face. Got a chartreuse mustache. <laughs> there we go. Get him. Double. Double snook. Double on the shorties. These are Murphy size, little <laughs> shorties. <laughs> I think this lure works. Yeah, I like it. Side to side action, that little lip. I think I want to make a version if, and I think Berkeley will do it for me. These suspend, or they're slow sinkers. I want to make a floater with the same lip, same everything, just a floater. So we can go just a little slower on the twitch and not have to worry about it getting hung in the bottom. Very nice. What do you think? You think I agree. Work? Let's let them go. We didn't put a clock on it, but from when we started trolling motoring, all it's through all these three spots. three solid hours three of going hours. into the wind and going into the current, which obviously requires a lot more trolling motor juice in order to move along the way you want to. Digging down. Might have another red. Oh, what? 
It is another, another red. red. Three. And the biggest red so far today. We need a trout. What's that slam? Snook, trout, red, super, serpent. Super, super slam. Oh, come on, Rick. <clears throat> I gotta take you trout fishing First now? time in Flamingo, I need a super duper slam. Look at this is the darkest one yet. Yep. Man. Look how pretty it is. It's fat, too. There she is. Ooh, trout. Man. Yeah. There it is. It's over. <laughs> Super, Isn't what do you call it? funny how you had to come, you couldn't come at them. They're facing this way, you come at them, they ain't gonna bite it. So that's a super slam. Super slam. A trout, a redfish, a snook, and a tarpon. First day ever in Flamingo. I love it. You might have a hard time getting him to go back home. I was already <laughs> thinking, where are we gonna move? You're you gonna move to the... To the Cheeky the Huts. Cheeky Huts. <laughs> where are we gonna move? That's a nice Johnny. Oh yeah. Sweet. Thank you, Mr. Well, Trout. That was cool. We made you famous. So, Dan, you know, we got the boat on the trailer here at the boat ramp, and why don't we take a look and see? I just hit the app. So, our house battery, our starting battery, has 12.98 volts. That's fully charged. Yes. For our 12 volt battery. And then our two uh, trolling motor batteries, one has 13.68, the other one's 14.8, and they're both receiving from this house battery right now 2.5 amps. That's correct. So we're fully charged. I don't have to plug it in when I get to the house, because we're going to go tomorrow, and we're going to continue this 48-hour cycle of seeing how the charge can manipulate the batteries and keep them fully charged from spot to spot. That's right. As you make long runs like you do in and out of the park, when you get home, if you're going to put the boat back in the water every two or three days, you are topped off and ready to go. Okay. If you were going to keep the boat out of the water for a week or more, then right. I'd say just plug it into shore power. All right. I love it. It's <laughs> good stuff, man. Sportsman's Adventures is brought to you by Power Pole, Total Boat Control, Fenwick, Feel everything. Murphy's Law Sport Fishing. Book your trip today at murphyslawsportfishing.com. Fusion. Amplify the moment. Island Lures. Tournament Tackle. Heroes on the Water. Paddle, Fish, Heel. And Diamond Fishing Products. Our reputation is on the line. Now that Dan has the Super Slam out of the way, they're going to work on some more tarpon. So we got the pump running, 12.11 volts. And the starting battery ran out here, caught a few pinfish. And as you can see, our trolling motor battery. So this is day two, still haven't plugged in. Yep. Look at our voltage. Can't ask for anything better other than maybe a big tarpon on the mine. Oh. Here we go, Dan. Sweet. He doesn't even know he's hooked yet. <laughs> oh! He knows now. <laughs> Good job. And jump. Oh, oh. nice. You knew it. He said, here he goes. This eight foot, this is the battalion. I love the eight footers for the cast and how far you can throw, but they got a lot of beef. Look at the beef in here. Yeah, you're grabbing that spool and just rearing back on that fish. He's almost done. I see that. Where do you put your gloves? They're in the rocket launcher. Easy. Easy. Damn. 
<laughs> Make him jump in my Adidas. Yeah. <laughs> he said, not easy today. <laughs> Yep. Right at eye level. There you go. Come here, baby. Nice. Get your breath. I'm there. Maybe. Hold him, Blake. Got him. <laughs> Hold him, Dan. You got him now. Two hands. Nice. Nice fish, Rick. Good job. Boy, look how thick he is. Yeah, man. They They're are. They're really nice. healthy. You've been. The old spawn is not happening yet, but they're pre gathering. Look how thick they are. I mean, that fish for as long as it was, was yeah, tall. Yeah. Tall on the back. He was good. Thank you for Very grabbing good. him. For Glad me. I got to use these gloves. Yeah, me too. Sweet. Do it again. <laughs> I gotta get some drink fight. <laughs> Sportsman's Adventures is brought to you by Ameritrail. Load, launch, relax. Berkeley, your fish, our science. Maverick Boat Group, makers of premium boat brands. Maverick, Hughes, Pathfinder, and Cobia. The American Fishing Tackle Company. Any fish, any water, since 1958. The Florida Keys and Key West, come as you are. And Garmin, plot your paradise. A study by the University of yeah, Miami states that about one out of four tarpon are eaten by sharks. Unfortunately, Captain Rick got a first-hand account of that study. Oh, oh, no, he's still there. Oh, maybe somebody after him. Here we go. I think oh. he got upgraded. Oh, you see that? Something what just hit, hit my trolling motor. motor. We got sharks everywhere. <laughs> look, look at the boil here. Boil there. Oh no. Let's put those poles up. Let's see if we can save this fish. Mommy, get him. <laughs> oh, are you kidding me? Oh, there's two, two of them. Three of them. Oh, that's not nice. That's not nice. Sorry, Tarpon. No wonder you wouldn't jump. Oh. I'm a bit nervous to get in there. George, get in there and get some underwater. Quit being, why aren't you in there shooting underwater, George? No, 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 no. Can I grab him quick, Dan? That's it. Want me to just dump him? Yeah, 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 let, no. Dump Rich. Him. Dump him. My heart right now, it's beating a thousand times a second. God. Out of nowhere, just looks like we were gonna get a nice jump out of that fish. God. And then man in the gray suit. Two of them. Two. It was two henchmen. Head like that. We've been out here all day. 
We got here at first light. It's 1 o'clock, 1.30 now, something like that. And running the trolling motor, chasing these fish around, putting the trolling motor on anchor lock. And uh, <clears throat> I'm quite impressed. Looking at the charge on the app of my iPhone, we're at house batteries 12.9 because the Garmin's on and the bubbler's been running a little bit. Every once in a while, we clean up the deck with the hose and and also turn a live well on to get new water in there. But more importantly, the batteries, the trolling motor batteries, are 21.7 and 20, I'm sorry, I said 21, 12.71 and 12.75. What amazes me is how well we're keeping them within a degree, you know, yes. a point zero something. That's amazing. It's the charge is good. Does a good job out here of keeping your batteries balanced, so one battery doesn't go lower than the other battery, and it does just a complete discharge and recharge, and actually gets you longer life out of your batteries. Not just today, right? But we're talking years from now. Your battery is going to last longer in this boat. Yeah. At the end of the two-day trip, the Pathfinder is fully charged and the power pole charge did exactly what it was supposed to do. It's another tool so you can have a great sportsman's adventure. Keep up with the latest at Sportsman's Adventures by logging into our website at sportsmansadventures.com and follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube.